So imagine how tired you'd be if you had a 70-hour work week. Well, that's how much truckers are allowed to drive every week. And the accident involving comedian Tracy Morgan is fueling a new debate over those rules because prosecutors say fatigue played a role in the crash. Jonathan Betts is here with that story. Jonathan. Well, John, right now there is a battle brewing on Capitol Hill over when truck drivers should be required to rest. Today, two Senate Democrats pledged to fight a measure meant to loosen rules on truckers. It was a horrific crash on the New Jersey Turnpike. It was a terrible accident. The car flipped. A Walmart truck slammed into a bus. Famed comedian Tracy Morgan was badly hurt. His friend killed. Prosecutors say the truck driver hadn't slept in more than 24 hours. Activists say accidents like this happen all too often. This has gotten a lot of media attention only because Tracy Morgan is an entertainer. In 1993, Daphne Iser's son and three friends were killed on their way to a haunted hayride. They pulled in the breakdown lane on the State of Maine Turnpike, and a truck driver, Walmart truck driver, fell asleep and ran over the top of the car. In the years since, Iser has been working to warn others about the dangers of drowsy driving. Last summer, the federal government tightened rules on how much sleep truckers have to get and required them to take at night. Truckers have to rest for 34 hours after driving for 70 hours in a week. That rest period must include breaks between 1 and 5 a.m. at least two nights a week. Now a Senate committee has voted to suspend some of the rules until the effects can be studied. The industry worries the restrictions actually increase the risk on the road. It essentially puts more trucks on the road at 5.01 a.m. on a daily basis when America's commuters are going to work, America's children are going to school. Nearly 4,000 people were killed in crashes involving large trucks in 2012, up over previous years. But there's debate about how much tired drivers are to blame. There are larger pieces of the puzzle, lower hanging fruit that federal regulators and the industry and other advocacy groups and interest groups should be working on. Like speed, distracted and aggressive driving. But for now, fatigue is still at the heart of the battle being fought inside the beltway about what happens out on the highway. And this could come to a head in the Senate this week. The debate whether rest rules are actually backfiring, putting more trucks on highways in the morning, John, just as when everybody else is hitting the road. Yeah, a big problem to deal with. All right, thanks very much.